Today we're going to be looking at dimensions in modeling. The main focus of this video is how to enable these dimensions that you see along these edges. We're also going to be looking into scaling and how that is applied to your modeling and how it affects the dimensions underneath. So that is not straightforward if we scaled and that scale up say to two times the size then we wouldn't get 40 millimeters here. This will still stay at 20 millimeters. I'm going to show you how to apply that scaling. So this will change and what the scaling means when you actually model it. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. So we're in Blender. I'm going to click on the default cube and hit delete. And we're going to start by adding a mesh. We're going to add and add a plane. Now, if I come down to the bottom, I can change the plane dimension and we'll set this to 10 millimeters and hit enter. So we've got a 10 millimeter plane. Now, at the moment, you can see we haven't got any length dimensions showing up on the edges. Now, this is an overlay, but if we come up to our overlays here, drop this down, we don't have an overlay in here for the dimensions. That's because we're in object mode. To see the overlay, let's come into object mode and come into edit mode. Now, when we come over to the overlays and drop them down, you can see we've got down the bottom, we've got measurement. And in here, we've got edge length, face area, face angle, and edge angle. If I enable edge length, then we get the edge length displayed on the screen. But that's only in edit mode. And if you selected an edge, a face or two vertices. So if I come over to the vertex selection, select mode of vertex and just select one vertex, then you don't see anything. If I hold down shift on the keyboard, and select the other vertex you see we've got this 10 millimeters here. So let's bring this around so we can see it better. So you can see the 10 millimeters there. If we select a vertex that is on the other side, say from corner to corner, I select this one and then shift select this one, then you can see we've got no length showing up because this only displays the edge lengths. So if I select the edge and select this edge, you can see I've got the 10 millimeters coming up and we can select those edges there. So what happens if we say we grab these two vertices and increase the size of this? Let's try that. Let's select the vertex mode. Select one vertex, come down to the bottom, hold down shift on the keyboard, and select the other. You can see we've got 10 millimeters appearing here. And if I hit G for grab on the keyboard, and then we can pull this out and look down the bottom, we can see as we pull this out this way, the top and bottom dimensions are changing. And I've got the option to say, if I hit X on the keyboard, and keep these in line with that X axis. If I drop it to say here, then you can see that's gonna be 2.22 millimeters. Or if I hold down the control, I can snap that to my grid. So you can see I'm holding down the control on the keyboard. And as I move, it moves it in millimeter increments or whatever your grid is set to. Let's hit Y. And I'm moving along the Y, hold down the control, and we can move it in those increments once again. I'm going to hit X, hold down control, and I'm going to drop it at two millimeters and click. Let's select those vertices again. Actually, let's select the edge. So I'm just going to select the edge. I'm in edge mode, select the edge. Q for grab. So I'm moving that with G. Hit X to keep it along the X axis. You can see the X axis has highlighted in red. So 
much brighter red so we know we're along the x-axis. Remember we're only at two millimeters. So I'm going to hit two on the keyboard and I've moved myself up two millimeters more. So I've added two millimeters onto that. I can click to set that and I've accepted the new length. So let's click on the face, so the face selection. And if I select that face, you can see that I've got four millimeters at the top, 10 millimeters on the sides and four millimeters on the bottom. If I use the selection of edge and just select in one edge, then we only get the millimeters for that edge that I've selected. The vertex, then it's the selection between holding our shift of the vertex. So it's in between that vertex, that edge there. We can't select this vertex here and shift select this vertex here. We don't get a dimension going across there. Now, one thing to remember is scaling. So that's come out into object mode. We know we've got four millimeters long here and 10 millimeters long here. What happens if we scale this now? So that's select that object and I'm going to use the scale tool. I'm going to scale this this way. So I'm just scaling this out. At the moment it's 1.8, that's set this scale to two. So I've doubled the size and two along the Y as well. We've got this scale. That's come into edit mode now. So I'm in edit mode. Let's have a look at the dimensions. So I'm going to select the face and click the face. It is still 10 millimeters and four millimeters along the bottom. So why is that? We've added a scaling onto it, but the scaling won't change the dimensions. So the dimensions stay the same underneath, but we've just added a scale on top of that in the object mode. If we wanted to apply that scale, so rather than four millimeters, we would get eight millimeters. Then we have to come back to the object mode and apply this scaling. If we look to the right hand side and pull this out, you can see that the scale is set to two, two and one. When we apply the scale, this will become one on the X, one on the Y and one on the Z. So our scale will reset and the resize or the scale of this object will be applied to the model permanently. To do that, let's come over to the object menu. Let's drop down here, apply and set scale. This is reset to one. And now when we go into edit mode, you can see we've got eight centimeters along the bottom and 20 centimeters along the sides. So always remember about applying the scale if you need it. If you've scaled the object in object mode, then you may get confused when going back into edit mode when you see the measurements are still the same. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.